random rewards are so sweet. Honey's all that I can see. Blame nature, what well, don't you? I make no apology. I'm in love with a meme. About as real as a dollar, and it makes me wanna scream. I wanna be a millionaire. I'm not weak or lazy. I'm like electricity, I'm the path of least resistance, always lies the way for me, I'm in love with a meme, about as real as a dollar, and it makes me wanna scream, I wanna be a millionaire, go Dutch, go Dutch, Dutch, Daddy, And SpaceX, this techno king is on a roll. There is no shame in his game. He's having fun, he's in control. I'm in love with a meme. About as real as a dollar, and it makes me wanna scream. I wanna be a millionaire. Go Dutch, Dutch. So sweet, honey's all that I can see. Blame nature, what well, don't you? I make no apology, I'm in love with a meme. About as real as a dollar, and it makes me wanna scream. I wanna be a millionaire, I'm not weak or lazy. I'm like electricity, I'm the path of least resistance. Always lies the way for me, I'm in love with a meme. About as real as a dollar, and it makes me wanna scream. I wanna be a millionaire. Go Dutch, Go Dutch, Dutch, Daddy. Go 
random rewards are so sweet. Honey's all that I can see. Blame nature, what well, don't you? I make no apology. I'm in love with a meme. About as real as a dollar, and it makes me want to scream. I want to be a millionaire. I'm not weak or lazy. I'm like electricity. I'm the path of least resistance. Always lights the way for me. I'm in love with a meme. About as real as a dollar, and it makes me want to scream. I want to be a millionaire. Go Dutch, Dutch, Dutch. Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome to a new Bitcoin Daily show every single day, 9.30 Central European time. And today, we are a little bit bullish, so I thought why not play Dodge Daddy song. I know it gets everybody excited, everybody's super bullish. We're not there yet, you know, but it's it's kind of time. It's kind of time to stop, start thinking about like some kind of move to the upside, some kind of move to the upside. Everybody good, doing good in chat, Nihal is in chat, Honza D, DJ AV Styling, uh, who more, who more, Ralph is there as well. Nice to see some green names, uh, very nice. Larry, Patrick, Krisk, you know, everybody. The Mighty Apefish is also there. I cannot believe that Mighty Apefish is still not green. I was actually hoping the Mighty Apefish will be green eventually, but you know, he's not still green yet. TLI Gut Indicator is working, yeah. <laughs> TLI Gut Indicator. Morning Devil, Molinish, Sasho, how you guys do it? Double. Double weekly divergence. Double. We're gonna check that out. We're gonna check that out. How's everybody doing? Are you guys bullish or bearish? Uh, you, you know, yesterday, yesterday, uh, we managed to uh, get above the 10 and 20 moving average. That's why we are playing the Dodge Daddy right now. This is like the third time, first, second, third time we are breaking the the 10 and 20 moving average. So you know, uh, at one point you gotta say like, okay, this um, this resistance is not actually a resistance. Like when you are breaking like one, two, three times, like. Like it's not resistance, but then you know, you know it might be just the channel, you know, uh, channel, and you know that we are totally ignoring the 10 and 20 moving average, and we are just actually hitting the channel. Uh, overall, the mood is bullish. Just relax, enjoy the ride. Yeah, we, we're gonna we're gonna get super bullish at one point, but right now, you know, it's still somewhere a little bit there, but not quite there. But we are more. 
we are, we are actually more bullish than uh, than before so you know we're gonna change 30% hopium uh, 17% realism you know we are still uh, uh, realistic the downside uh, technically yeah it, it's maybe maybe this should be 40 60 uh, it's okay 30 70 is fine now 30 70 is fine now we do uh, we have a four a four hour hidden bearish divergence from the high of 35 8 the last four hour candle looks really like some continuation down yeah I, I mean there is also a rising wedge on the one hour lady you know th th there are stuff there are definitely stuff that uh, looks bearish but you know once you are above 10 and 20 moving average on the daily you, you know some kind of bullishness gotta kick in some kind of bullishness gotta kick in since everybody is bullish it will go down <laughs> on the other hand the short term scenario is the bearish but it is all temporary yeah we, we're gonna see that we're gonna see how this actually play out uh, we did not go at least below the 32,870, you know, this line down here. We did not go below that, you know, so we held that support. Uh, the weekly, the weekly uh, close, guys. We got to talk about the weekly close. Let's go to the weekly time frame. Let's clean up everything up here just for a second. Let's uh, let's do it like this and uh, put go to the weekly close and put very nice down line down here. And you can see here that we did uh, uh, yeah, uh, previous week we closed uh, below the support so technically technically we are bearish we closed below the support so technically we are a little bit bearish than, down here but we did not cl uh, go down to the 32,000 support we only closed below this local support down here which is actually not a good thing but you know this uh, we can uh, always you know come right back up again uh, over here you can see here even even the week today uh, is going up to the uh, already up to the support testing as a resistance and right now a little bit retracing back here but there is still six days and 17 hours left like entire week left for this to do something you know go up go down you know but um, you know it can uh, you know just right get back above this uh, level up here stay above here and then continue going up so we're gonna see that but this isn't um, you know it's not a good thing that you cross the support but you know it's not the, the the worst thing either it's not the worst thing either of course so what we're gonna see now let's go a little bit back over here and uh, what you're gonna see like we, we are right now 30 percent hope you have 70 percent so we you know the move is still to the downside doesn't matter how you look at it the move is still to the downside but it is looking a lot better and i'm gonna tell you exactly when we are actually gonna have the move to the upside but you know we are playing dodge daddy because you know we are starting to get bullishness in we are starting to get above the 10 and 20 moving average and this actually is starting to look good this pattern over here is really important over here there is some kind of a rising wedge that's actually uh, happening that i actually might actually pu push us down i actually believe that you you know we might go one more time down here and then bounce to the upside uh, that can happen like double test this support at uh, 32,000. uh you know that's uh, that's all always uh, in the cards uh this uh channel resistance is actually holding us very well that's where we are right now that's where we are now we are the channel resistance so if you are gonna break this i, I don't think we're gonna break today uh, we can see on the four only that we got a uh, some way to go up to the wait 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 uh some some way to go up to the four only let's just do it like this uh you can see the 20, uh, 200 moving average on the 4 hourly you know uh, there is a little bit uh, to go to get above the 200 moving average on the 4 hour to be above all the moving averages but you know uh, and uh on the one hourly we attack above all the moving averages but 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 on the one hourly there is a um uh uh yeah give give or take over here something like this maybe uh it, there is a rising wedge guys there is a rising wedge on the one hourly there is a rising wedge so uh this should break to the downside something like that down here at 32,000 something that's why i say saying we can still test these lows down here so if you look at a four hourly time frame so in the daily time frame we can still uh, test these lows down here uh previous lows uh at 32,800 or something like that so this this is still in play but it doesn't mean that we are gonna go down so uh, if we do test this low again down here and we hold that this might actually start continue going up especially if we fall down wait wait uh if we fall down down here and uh if we create a higher low over here if we create a higher low over here that's gonna be super bullish super bullish so if you go down uh so 
we went down up up and down so this is low lower low so we don't want to create third lower low but if we create higher low up here that can be super bullish and actually push us above so you know that might actually also be playing some kind of a, you know a head and shoulders pattern over here inverse head and shoulders pattern let's see this on the four hourly time frame over here how this actually looks on the far because maybe there is some kind of inverse head and shoulders uh, playing right now uh, on, on the charts over here uh, let's see how how will, will the, this be actually looking uh, something like this over here maybe and then we get a drop until uh, the drop side right that that's the plan at least that's now nah, it can it cannot be that it cannot be that because it's breaking it here it's breaking it now nah, it's not uh, it's terrible it's terrible it's terrible now the, there is no head and shoulders unfortunately there is no head and shoulders uh what do we have then what do we have we only have a rise, a rising wedge on the one hourly we only have a rising wedge on the one hourly right now right now and uh, uh you know that's that's not the not the most optimistic of uh, the cases right now so you know in the short term just you know just watching the uh just watching the one hourly chart you know we might actually get some kind of uh, uh, you know move to the downside so it's not the time to go long right now it's not the time to go long because uh you know although i am getting more and more bu bullish and i'm seeing more upside uh, right now in the immediate short term uh, i think this might actually drop a little bit down before it actually continues up i think i think because uh, because of the one hour you know but i don't care about one hour like on one hourly time frame you go you go to the you go to the bathroom you come back one hour is all already gone depends on how long you are in the bathroom of course but you know that's that's how fast these things goes that's that's how fast these things goes let me just go a little bit back to my lines over here and uh, what are we gonna uh, remove right now we're gonna remove TL gut feel now we're gonna clean up after let's let's do another chart over here it's nicely yeah, nicely uh, looked so of course we are above 10 and 20 movie average so that's very nice uh, this uh, 50 movie average will uh, impose a really a uh, big uh, resistance for us once we start getting there but the fact that it is actually curving like this towards the upside it's a, it's a good sign because you can jump on that and you continue going up so we're gonna see how that actually plays out i was all, all on also hoping that there will be some kind of a falling wedge over here but i don't see any falling wedge guys unfortunately i don't see any falling wedge up down here there is definitely a line of some kind of uh short to short term line of resistance up up there but you know i i don't see the full image like you can draw something like this but it's not very good it's not very nice uh may maybe maybe give or take maybe give or take uh it, it's really hard to say it's really hard to say maybe even something like this over here uh a falling wedge big falling wedge uh that's actually that's why i'm saying like we can still go down we can still go down and then uh, go up like we are not quite yet there we might actually go continue going down in this falling wedge and then continue up. but it depends it depends if the wedge is real or not because these are actually quite weak hits over here maybe i think i think they're quite weak i think they're quite weak uh and this uh, uh this line is actually uh decent but you know i think i think it's a weak wedge it, it's a weak wedge that's what i'm trying to say it's a weak wedge let's go to the yeah and of course from yesterday uh complex anxiety denial panic we are right now in a depression so if we actually get above the 50 moving average we are eventually gonna get into the disbelief suckers rally right uh part and then you know hope optimism and then we're gonna go up uh, you know we've been watching this yesterday uh so let's go back to our charts again let's go back a little bit to our chart and see here what's happening because you you, you know that we have been in these channels right so if we do break this channel right over here the next target should be somewhere around 37 7 or something like that all the way up here uh on the other hand we still got a huge support down here at 32,000. so even if we go down out of this um, uh, rising wedge up here uh 32 8 32 2 like there is so much support in this area down here it's only if we manage to somehow break this support area down here if we somehow manage to support this area break this support area down here to the downside that we are gonna be super bearish you know you know then you can like just sell everything go to the beach come back in four years 
but uh, until that like it, it start it is it is starting looking very bullish uh, you know the fact that we are breaking again above the 20 moving average and 20 moving average really you know curving to the upside being this close to the resistance right now it's looking very good we are also gonna look at some uh, indicators and what they are, they are telling us but it, the move is actually looking legit uh, it looks like it might hold we have to hold above the the 10 and 20 moving average today uh, to break this uh, resistance very important resistance up here uh, you gotta break then you know the 50 the moving average you gotta break that as well you know but you know small steps small step uh for the mankind big step for uh, you know crypto or something like that uh but you know eventually we're gonna get there but it is very important to get above the 10 and 20 moving average over here and just stay above 10 and 20 moving average and not just drop right back down if you drop right back down again it can be a little bit bad but as long as we actually keep above 10 and 20 moving average and maybe drop a little bit down yeah, tomorrow and then go up that's gonna also be fine let's go look at the four hourly how it looks here uh when we are looking at the lines as well over here you can see here we are climbing this um uh, some kind of uh, a rising wedge over here so four 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 eight uh twelve uh four eight 12 16 20 yeah we got still something like few how many hours have we got like 60 hours left yeah so you know if if you're gonna manage to stay above up here uh, through an entire day i think we gotta go all the way up to the like top of the wedge and then break down up here because if you do it too fast i think it's gonna be you know daily is gonna daily is gonna be messed up we don't we don't want to close the daily down here below the moving averages again we don't uh, we don't want to close this green candle below what's that thirty four thousand. we don't want to close it below these moving averages uh down here we don't want to go right back down again because that's gonna be bearish that's gonna be bearish so we don't want to do that uh we want to stick 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 around and you know uh hang uh, hang up here for a while and then you know continue going up uh, from over here but we'll see how that actually plays out for hourly I still got this 200 moving average right above us and one hourly it's actually climbing the moving averages so we're gonna see how this actually plays out but it is rising wedge on the, on the small time frames and uh, you know some kind of move to downside might be expected in the short term but in the in the long term it is getting uh, bullish it is getting bullish yesterday I've been explaining to you guys how these uh, uh this uh, uh this move to the upside uh, this move to upside it looks exactly like the move to the uh, uh sorry it looks like the uh move to the move to us they look uh, exactly the same i also have been explaining how these uh divergences on the top side are actually corresponding to the on the downside you know and, and if you work the chart it looks exactly like uh previous uh previous uh, move you see here you are getting these higher highs right and if you invert the chart you are you're are technically getting these uh you know higher highs again right and uh, you know there is all a bunch of uh, divergence here other side divergence that's actually being corrected right now and right now it looks like we might actually start dropping uh, down over here so that's what i'm looking for i'm looking for these drops towards the downside technically towards the upside of course uh, towards the upside to go to upside because i've seen this this pattern that's why i'm saying the gut feeling the gut feeling is telling me that uh, uh, you know because i've been looking at charts so much that my gut Gut feeling, you know, got the TLI is gut feeling, is telling me that you know this is gonna go to the, towards the upside pretty soon. Also, of course, uh, indica indication is telling us that we are getting pretty close to some kind of bottoming levels right now. Although we are in the bear market, we've been calling bear market for now a couple of days, right? Technically, it is bear market. It's a mini bear market, it's still a bear market. Call what I whatever you want. Once we get into new bull market, we're gonna call it what it is. It's a bull market, but right now we're gonna say it's it is a mini bear market. So we're gonna see how. Uh, when we get get out of it but there's a huge amount of support right below us so you know if we break that it, that's gonna be bad so any uh, you know between 32,870 all the way down to 32,002 uh, on entire this area it's it's full of support even even down here even down here I think all the way down here to something uh, yeah it is uh, 32,238 like this area it it is full of support it, it this is support area uh, we, we we technically don't wanna don't wanna cross these lines right you, you don't want to go down here you don't want to go down here because that's gonna be very bearish but right now right now it looks in, looking good but we have still have to take few steps more towards the upside to actually become super bullish super bullish and continue going up 
but it, it, it does look better like yesterday we only had 10% hopium today is 30% hopium you know and uh, you know but technically technically speaking still a little bit bearish uh, the, the technicals have not changed quite yet you know but you know all the technicals are actually leggy indicators so you gotta you gotta kind of have the foresight to look into the future to see what's gonna happen before it actually happens and that's the only way so we are looking at the leg indicators like everything is a leg indicator because you know price already happened like uh, what kind of you know uh, leading indicator are you gonna have but uh, you, you know the gut feeling is a leading indicator and the gut feeling is telling me that this might actually just turn around and uh, go up pretty soon so you know it, it is it is setting up for a move towards the upside it is definitely setting up uh, to move to upside but in the short term i'm thinking like it might actually drop down it, it's gonna be bad if it drops down now it's still you know we, we are like 70 percent realized you know technically on the downside if we are gonna continue this uh, move downside but you know when you get when you get a, when you get something like 50 percent down you know uh, drop down and then you get like this uh uh, uh it's not a bear flag it's not a bear flag because bear flag usually goes down bear flags goes down and then you, you know goes uh to upside and then continues down right this is not a bear flag this is uh like some kind of uh like uh, uh maybe maybe it's some kind of uh some kind of really really weird uh uh try uh sorry um, uh, falling wedge really really falling wedge where you, you know you're trying to push it down and just bam, bounces right back up again it might be that it might be that let's go and look at let's go and look at uh, the bitcoin cme future chart because right now it's open right and we're saying that you know it it does look like it might also be some kind of pennant that we are in some kind of pennant over here that we are going right in a pennant and we should go to some kind of up upper or lower levels whether we break the upside or downside uh tech it looks like more or less gonna break the downside but this is cme future chart and it's a little bit different than a regular uh bitcoin chart because you know the the weekend prices are not here uh but it it might actually just break the upside it might break the upside and i don't see either i don't see here either any kind of wedge or anything uh it's it's really hard to argue that there is some kind of wedge like the channel that may maybe there is some kind of channel uh triangle maybe but wedge uh some kind of wedge up here no i i don't see it i, I don't see it it's really hard to figure out if this some kind of wedge and i don't see any kind of wedge. The, the best option is this some kind of pennant and you know pennants break to the downside you know uh, down downtrend the pennant uh, break to the downside so you know we are realistic to the downside but it does look a little bit bullish it does look a little bit bullish so we are still uh leaning towards the upside uh, leaning towards the upside even though everything is pointing to the downside uh, let's go just live back other way around uh, why are my lines like this okay i just do it manually and remove the lines and remove line okay now what we're gonna do now is we're gonna look at some um, uh, some indicators down here and see uh, you know because right now the volatility is dying technically something should happen volatility is dying uh, there is no volatility you uh, watch the bb bulger bands uh, the volatility is buying every time these uh, these lines are going uh, towards each other uh, each, each other and you know there is no volatility volatility is that right see here volatility dying when, when they are extended you know the big volatility when the, the, the you know the, when they are going towards each other when these lines are converging on the bb lines they are actually uh, they are you know the volatility is dying out you can see it all on other charts as well you can see it on rsi when rsi is going to, uh, just keeping uh, 50 uh, levels on all time frames like give or take all time frames around 50 levels you know the volatility is that when you see the max the slowly converging towards the zero line uh, you know the volatility is that we also have this um, my, my own indicator down here uh, that's actually right now uh, converging to uh, towards uh, the center like volatility is dead uh, that means that something some move is gonna happen and it's gonna be very volatile so volatility will kick in me you know because um, bitcoin thrives on volatility and unfortunately right now there is no volatility volatility is down so let's look at the volume you can see also on the volume this is on the daily chart you can see volume has been declining uh pretty steadily uh, pretty steadily over here um uh, we have been going slowly towards the upside is this the upside 
uh, hard to tell, but you know, that's actually not actually a good thing if you are being going to the worst upside. Uh, it, because you know, when volatility, uh, when volume is going down and price is going up, that means that there is no interest in the price going, going up. So, you we would like to see you know, some kind of a change in the volume right now that we are starting climbing over here, but unfortunately, volume is not yet coming. I don't also want to see just one, uh, one big volume picking up and starting going up no no i want to be we see slow steady increase in volume while the price is going up if the price starts going up and the volume starts going up that's going to be very nice doesn't have to be big just has to be increase in volume but i think people are still on the sidelines waiting to see what's going to happen because you know we had one Two, and this is maybe third a fake out to above the 20 moving average so i think people are still like saying like hey man let's just wait and see what's gonna happen here because this 50 moving average might stop us so that's why i don't, don't think we are seeing volume, or volume right now because people are still on the sidelines uh, wondering what's gonna happen and uh, you know uh it's hard to tell, it's hard to tell, it's hard to tell, but we are leaning towards bullishness. Let's see if there is any kind of divergence because I've seen some people have been talking about some kind of divergence. I don't see any divergence on the daily. Let's see some uh, some uh, some weekly, uh, weekly moves down here. Uh, there is uh, technically, 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 so there is Technically, on the weekly chart, there is divergence. Because the price, uh, the, uh, sorry, SI is, or RSI is going up and the MACD, sorry, and uh, sorry, the price is going down and the RSI is going up so technically there is divergence but it's it is unconfirmed divergence that's that's the point it's unconfirmed divergence because you know uh, this uh, the second candle can just continue going red and continue going down which will actually you know uh, correct the divergence but right now there is weekly divergence but you know we cannot it's too early to assume you assume anything uh, it's too early to assume anything whether this is going to hold or not but it is divergence technically it is weekly divergence but it is not confirmed because uh, or it's not uh, completed and we cannot assume it's going to be a, uh, yet we cannot we cannot assume yet you know uh, this is going to be divergence because this can just continue being a red candle if it becomes a red candle and then this this line over here will actually go something like this and then there will be no divergence uh, RSI divergence right so but there is technically right now technically there is the RSI divergence on the yeah, on the weekly time frame uh, so that's nice let's look at a small time frames because small time frames cannot can tell us a little bit about what's gonna happen over here uh, on four hourly there are no divergences and on one hourly let's see up here uh, there are still no divergences. everything is actually playing as it should be playing out on one hourly four hourly daily everything beside uh, only on the weekly we have the maybe maybe the verse incoming let's see some other chart this is on coinbase let's see let's see if uh, this uh, plays out on the uh, on uh, on uh, bitfinex chart as well let we gotta zoom in for this we gotta zoom in really really nice like there is there is no yeah there is still like you gotta go really 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 zoom in for this but there is still technically there is divergence on the weekly chart on bitfinex chart as well and we can also check that on the uh, on uh, binance chart as well this is rsi for binance we gotta zoom in yeah there is there is definitely rsi divergence on binance as well the, the rsi is going uh going up and uh, the uh, the price is going down because we know that the price is going down over here so there is definitely divergence on the on the weekly chart but it's not confirmed it's not done so we cannot actually uh, say yet what is actually happening uh, let's go to the uh, look at a macd just for a second over here and see macd macd is still going on daily towards the zero line which will actually you know uh, gives us some bullishness but we are not quite there yet uh, this uh, momentum 
on the weekly is dying it is starting converging uh, against each other so this might have actually be some some kind of some kind of bottom if this continues we also been talking about MACD crossing the zero line over here on the on the blue line crossing the zero line that's actually going to the bear store and that's why we are calling it right now the bear market because we are you know we are crossing the zero line to the downside so that's that that's that uh, let's go to the daily chart again and just uh, say a quick word about uh, over here what I, what I expect right now to happen so since we are having one on, on, on one hourly and four hourly we are ex having some kind of uh, rising uh, rising wedge over here I expect this not to be able to break the uh, uh, the uh, the resistance daily weekly uh, I don't expect it actually to break the resistance right now I don't expect to break the resistance right this this big resistance the channel resistance. that's what I'm looking at guys that's what I'm looking at I'm looking at this line over here more than I'm looking at 50 moving average because I'm thinking once we break the the channel line up here the 50 moving average will fall a lot easier uh, than that uh, but I'm looking at this line over here. But since we are having this rising rising wedge up here, I'm thinking we are gonna maybe fall back down again and then bounce again above the channel and then, then get out. I think we are start making some kind of a, a low high because you know the price doesn't go just like uh, totally up. Like it goes up down up down up down. Uh, you know, so we go move up, move down, then try a little bit up down up down up. Down, you know so I'm expecting some move to the downside again downside again before we actually break the break the resistance but it's good that we are starting uh, you know we went up and we are doing uh, the zigzag here at this uh, resistance the zigzag at resistance so this is actually quite this part over here is actually quite bullish uh, this part over here is actually quite bullish because you know oh, oh you know be, we're going zigzag uh between these two and then uh, which uh, went down made some kind of double bottom here and right now we are going between these two over here zigzag zigzag and we are getting these moving averages close to us and uh, you know that might actually put us towards the upside so i am getting a little bit bullish but right now in the short term very short term i'm looking for a little bit mm, to move to the downside maybe create some kind of uh, some kind of low and then a higher low and then and then bounce to the upside what do you guys think about that what does chat think about move to the upside for our hidden bearish from the high of 35 to now uh, let's see for our hidden bearish let's see look at some other chart for our 35 hidden bearish divergence because there is no hidden bearish divergence on the four hour you, you cannot you cannot you cannot on, on the four you cannot do the uh, uh you you can't do this you can't do this you cannot you cannot look at it like this this is not you gotta look at it between these uh, pivot points right uh, between you cannot take this uh, top over here and uh, measure with this point or top, top here you gotta you gotta do the closest uh, pivot points so this uh, RSI uh, the words or whatever it is there is no you gotta you gotta just look at between these uh, closest uh, pivot points right so th there is no divergence or hidden bearish divergence sitting on the sideline with cash and kidney <laughs> start selling your kidney man you accept dodge Zoom out and we're still not bullish. It's a everything is a leg indicator. Of course we are not bullish, but you know the TLA gut indicator says we are bullish. Cheek slapping pump incoming. We're gonna see that. We're gonna see that how this actually works out. Let's pop the movie. What other things are you guys seeing that I'm not seeing? I, I mean I'm seeing I'm seeing bullishness, but I'm not I'm not sure what you guys are seeing. Now I think dip to 33. Three over next six to eight hours, then good week. But my TA is sketchy at best, so I don't bet no kidneys on that. <laughs> Thirty-three-three. Yeah, that might happen. That might happen. Why not? Now there are important uh, lines of uh, support down here. We don't want to go, go below thirty-two-eight, right? We don't want to go. Uh, once we start going down here, we do not want to go below this level. You know, we want to stay above this level. And above that level, you know, we got uh, a very important line at thirty-three-five or something like that. Uh, so if you do go down uh, out of this uh, rising wedge, uh, where is it? If you go down out of this rising wedge over here, uh, we want uh, we want like. 
to stop somewhere around uh, uh, somewhere around uh, you want to stop somewhere around 33.5 we do not want to go below 33.8 that's the thing that's the thing we don't want to go we want to stop somewhere here or, you know down there and then continue going up what was the weekly uh, close the weekly close was uh, bearish we just said that the weekly close is bearish we are uh, you know this is this is on a coinbase chart but you know it's down here um, the coinbase actually looks a lot worse than uh, other charts let's see binance on binance chart it's up here you can see here we, we are technically you know we broke the local support but we got this peak down here big support down here at 32,000 still not broken you know it's been holding forever uh, will we eventually get down there and break that it depends but uh, y you know the the bull the bears won last week the bears won last week that's why I'm saying we are bearish the bear won last week you can see here they pushed the price all the way up and the bulls didn't even manage to get it back above the support but it did get managed to get it some way up you know but you know it's still it's still a it's still a tough move to the upside it's still a tough move to the upside it needs to, we need to work we need to work to actually get uh, this to actually be bullish and days after high and low and we break it in July why do people remain bullish hope you man hope you gut feeling I come here every day with the hope to see Magnus being clean shaven one day one day man where might be safest prices or ranges to make a long trade right now there is no long guys right now it's not a time to long over here because you are sitting at resistance you're sitting at resistance right now so there is not uh, this is not time to go long right uh when you're sitting below the resistance over here this this isn't uh, time to go long that's no 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 right if you want to go long you go long down not support so this channel around so here at 32,000, that was a long we are if we have been talking about you know that's a that's a long play so if you get down here again uh these range down here at 32,000 something give or take 32 to uh many being 31 6 or something like that uh, uh on this uh, on this uh downtrend downtrend uh, line that's the actually where you take long but if you break that you know that's where you get out that's where you get out so you know you go long on the support you go short on the resistance and right now we are on the resistance so you know it's not a it's not a time to go long time to go long is down here or if you break it it's time to go long is when we actually test this as support and hold it as support that's time to go long of course hope you make you go long uh, long in resistance short on resistance a life of a legendary gambler yeah Cup and handle in one hour. Uh, I don't see it, man. I don't see it. Let's let's go check it in one uh, one hourly. Nah, it, it, it's ugly. It's ugly. It, it doesn't look like anything like that. It, it's very ugly. Like sure, you can hope like this is. Let me see the moving averages. Uh, I I mean I mean I don't know it's one hour I, I don't want to give it too much thought I don't want to give it too much time to go short okay thank you TLA you're welcome man you're welcome and the baby is crying so guys so guys I'm guessing that's that that's that for today let's see over here just uh, you know yesterday we also called, talked about uh, the uh, uh, market psychology how we are have been uh, complicacy uh, you know up here you know when, once we started you know going to bear market uh, then we you know went down anxiety kicked in then we start going down no not denial then we drop down 50% that's panic right now you know that's saying oh it's not bear market no no we're still bullish right now and right now we come into the some kind of depression over here uh, it's probably done right and then once we start going up over here again you know people are gonna be like nah nah it's suckers rally this is not gonna happen and then you know we're gonna start going higher and you know people oh maybe this is gonna happen and then your know, optimism belief you know you're gonna go into a new thing so you know this might have been some kind of uh, you know mini bear market uh, uh and that uh, bear, mini bear market might actually be coming to a close right now so we're gonna we're gonna follow that and see how that uh, uh, develops but right now right now guys right now although bullish and uh, we are still 30% uh, hopium 
but we are still 70% realism so technically we should uh, go down and uh, you know uh, the, the indicators are saying that we are not all that bullish quite yet but it, start, it is starting to look good it is starting to look good and I do hope that we just break this right away without actually going down uh, if we break, break this mini wedge, uh, mini rising wedge up here on the one hourly, if we break this mini rising wedge to the upside, that's actually super bullish. Uh, that's super bullish. So there, there is some kind of a mini wedge over here, which actually should put uh, push us down. But if you break to the upside, that's super bullish, guys. That's super bullish move. Uh, and I, I'm also hoping that see something like that. But uh, right now, it looks like... Uh, uh we are getting there like that it, it is so close we are above 10 and 20 moving average very nice but we are at the resistance we gotta break the resistance we are not quite there yet we gotta break the resistance but once we break the resistance you know it's gonna be a lot nicer a lot nicer uh but short term short term i think we gotta go a little bit back before we actually break to the upside but i'm starting getting bullish guys 30 percent hopium 30 percent hopium still in denial magnus for the president Join the club, guys. Join the club. Has the weekly divergence played out? No, it's, it hasn't even started. Like, we cannot start assuming the weekly divergence, but it's not there yet, right? So, what we, uh, on the weekly time frame, uh, what you see here uh, is... Uh, uh, or, okay, don't, don't make me draw it again, but, uh, you know, th there, is, uh, there is divergence here. The RSI is going up, right? And the price is going down. So let's just look at the price. So technically, you know, the price is going down. Technically, there is divergence, right? Uh, you can see here, the price is going down. The RSI is going up. Don't make me draw the RSI line again. Uh, the thing about it, if this uh, this week continues to be red, there is no divergence, right? So, but if, you know, this week pumps all the way up here, then the divergence is already played out. So it's really hard to say whether, you know, uh, and, uh, you know, if it, uh, the, the price goes up very high one week, you know, the worst already play out. Or if it start going like do three weeks in a row, just goes a little bit up, like until you actually confirm the divergence, then it's already played out uh, as well after three weeks, right? So when it's actually played out or not played out, it, it's kind of hard to tell, but usually, you know, it pushes the price up to, to actually correct the divergence. But once uh, the divergence is corrected, you know, price do, does something like that and then there is no divergence and then everything is fine. Uh, but over here, over here, there is divergence, but we, I don't think, I think it's too early to assume divergence. Like when we start getting closer to the weekend, this is six days and 16 hours left. Once we start getting closer to the weekend and we are still in green or something like that, we can start assuming that there is divergence and, you know, we can become a lot more bullish, but it's too early to assume divergence right now. I'm bullish, bottom is in, bye, bye, bye. Uh, don't buy on the resistance, buy on the support. Okay, guys, baby is crying. I don't know what's doing, uh, what is doing. This moon phase showing we're going down this month. Stay safe, bulls. Wow. Okay, guys, I gotta go. Uh, we're gonna end it with uh, Dodge Daddy. Let me find Dodge Daddy. And, uh, you know, come back tomorrow. Tomorrow at uh, 9.30, Central European time. Every, every day we do this show every single day. And we're gonna see if we are more, a little bit more bullish or bearish uh, tomorrow. But right now we are, we are kind of uh, on the... Ver we are starting getting bullish, you know. But we are not quite there yet. We're not quite there. Yet. But we are getting bullish. We're getting very, we're getting very close. And we're gonna get there. We are above the moving averages. We are climbing. We are going up. You know, we have been going to, through uh, depression right now. And it's any time now. Any time now, guys. This this look starts. This is starting to look good. But what, as soon as as soon as we break this uh, level of resistance up here, guys, it's gonna look nice. It's gonna look nice. So come back tomorrow. Subscribe to the channel. You know, hit the like button and stuff like that and uh, uh, you know notification but everything like that see you guys tomorrow I gotta I got uh, look at the baby because the wife is not doing uh, the job the wife is not doing the job I gotta go look at what's happening with the baby yes, see you guys. bye bye
Touchdown.